Hi, my name is Adam Hicksudi and I'm from Illinois Institute of Technology. This is a tutorial on I.O. graphing. I.O. graphing is a powerful tool if utilized correctly. When using I.O. graphing, you can take a filter and find out how much of that selected type went through during a capture. Using this feature, you may be able to spot traffic that's out of the ordinary, such as excessive packets being sent by malicious software on a machine, like viruses and worms, or you could also spot unauthorized users in traffic if you know what you're looking for. Now, let's get started. You can open the I.O. graphs under the statistics menu. Now, on this screen, you can get a graph of the overall traffic in this capture. Let's say that I want to get a closer look. You can do that under the x-axis. By adjusting the tick interval, you can adjust how wide you want the graph to be. As each of the ticks above, which start with zeros, are one second between each other right now. As with the other one, it's 0.1 between each other. By adjusting the pixels per tick, you can further increase the detail as you like. Also, you can check the view of the time of day box to see it the day of the time the pattern of traffic occurred. Now let's, um, now let's put some filtering examples to the test. Under graph 1, I think I'll keep the overall packet I.O. for reference. Under graph 2, I want to take a look at my HTTP traffic. Now you can see the black and red lines, the black being the overall and the red being HTTP. Now I want to get a look at the TCP traffic. I think I'll put it in graph 3 for further reference. of my traffic is TCP. Now I want to look at how much data actually passed through rather than the packets. Under the y-axis I change the units to bytes per tick and bits per tick. You can see that this graph is adjusted to about 2 megabits to the ceiling. Under the scale you can adjust it yourself to get a closer look. looks more detailed under one megabit right here. Finally, hitting the advanced button under y-axis, now we can get even more detailed in our searches. Under this, we can do multiple calculations with our packets. How many times they occurred, the count, or what all the values, if numeric, added up to, which is sum. Even the largest, smallest, and the average value to, of the search can be found right here max, min, and average. Finally, the load is used to view the QDEF for command and response style calls like rpc.time. Now let's say I want to work the size scaling factor. I can use that as my filter. I'll add TCP. I'll find how many packets have this in there. I can also find the maximum, the sum, or even the average of them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.